and the subject matter was about culture. And he asked me initially was hip hop, black culture. And my response was to give uh, examples of other um, things that we're familiar with that weren't hip hop that we generally perceive as culturally to a certain people. And I think um, martial arts is one of them. And I'm not sure which actual Asian um, race is responsible, but I just basically made that example. Like when you think of Kung Fu or things of that nature, you think of Asians. And then I think I gave another example and I kind of felt like, and the host has been thinking since I gave that, that was like a checkmate answer. We've been pretty proud of that one for quite some time. So I could, it was like a somewhat slick way when he brought it up to you, because I pretty much assumed that he assumed that you were going to just have a checkmated response. Mm. And in a sense of debate, I can really respect your response. And I would like to you to just expound and articulate on that interaction. I thought we was going to be have heard it as an audience by now and then we can go into it naturally. But we still within the two minutes that it's going to take for us to actually hear it. But yeah, uh, um, I mean, it, it would have been a checkmate response if I didn't already have like I had years of this like you know what I'm saying like I've been dealing with this for a year for a long time I'm not the normal Chinese guy I'm not the normal Asian guy and I'm not saying there's a lot of Asian people out there that been through the hood whatever 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 right but I think just my experience you feel me with what I've been through and and my my um my stand on the black culture you know what i'm saying like i totally like adopted that culture like it was mine like so i know it in and out and i, I i've been having this fight not yeah i've been having this 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 debate mm -hmm. for a long time you feel me mm -hmm. and um and so so when when that was brought up to me i had it was like it was the, i knew exactly what to say you know what i'm saying because in my mind culture is not skin complexion like culture doesn't like culture like skin complexion might play a part in your culture but it really doesn't play a big part in your culture you know what i'm saying because like you know like right now we're speaking american bro like right. you know what i'm saying we're speaking that's not our culture like right. if our skin complexion me and you if all we're all do with everything that's what we're not supposed to be speaking the same language give a fuck I don't give I don't give a fuck who's offended by what I say you know what I mean I'm gonna stand on it regardless of who's standing in front of me or what I'm not being disrespectful I'm not saying oh this I'm not trying to claim something and take something that's not mine but you know I'm also not gonna allow anybody to take anything from me and strip me of anything because of my skin complexion or anything like that. When I have upheld this culture with all of my, uh, with, with, with everything, and I'm just not gonna happen. I'm not the one. Right. You know the rapper Spider Loke? Yeah, so we had the pleasure of interviewing him, and we asked him, um, what is, is hip hop a black art? And here's what he had to say. You know, music transcends color lines, man. I mean, but is rap, is rap really a black art? Or can can other can Latinos can Asians can is salsa, a Latin art is square dancing a country American folk white art is kung fu an Asian art when you go study kung fu no matter how American you are you give all respect and homage to the creators the originators and all the successful white rappers have attempted to do so because they're fully aware of their reality. Whether they promote it or accentuate it, it'd probably be kind of productive, but even for the black superstars, it is white consumers that establish and substantiate that success. So if you have to cross over and appeal to white America to be considered a superstar, it's not, doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out if we can give them somebody they can accept that looks like them, it'll even go bigger. I mean, here you have Elvis. You got Little Richard and you got Elvis. Right. You got and Eminem, you got Crooked Eye. No, I feel you on that low. Can like you imagine Crooked Eye and Eminem in a room by themselves? No beats on? 
with the cameras, let's go. You throwing a word out, then I throw a word out. You And let's see what they gonna do with the word. What do you think of, of what Spider Loke said, uh, China Mac, regarding hip hop being a black art, just as Kung Fu is an Asian art? What are right. your thoughts on that? I mean, I, I could see, I could see it, but you know, I could see his point. But if you look at it, it's like Kung Fu was started where? In Asia. China, right? China, for sure. Okay. And when Kung Fu was started in China, what, who were the main people? Then? The Asian, the Chinese. Right. Yeah. yeah I don't, there wasn't no, I mean, maybe there might be some, but there wasn't no white people there. There wasn't no black people there. There wasn't no Latin people there. Right. Uh, salsa. Where was salsa started? In Latin America. Right. And then what was the majority of the people over there? Latinos, Latinos. right? Yeah. Okay. Hip hop was started in the Bronx. There's all types of people in the Bronx. You know what I mean? Like, like, so if anything, a New York person could say, well, that's a New York thing. You know what I'm saying? So yes, I understand what you're, what, what he's saying. And I, 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 I don't, I'm not trying to refute it, but there's also some variables that we need to take a look at. You feel me? Because, you know, it wasn't like, Hip hop was started in Africa, you know what I mean? Where it was just all Africans, all black people. They were, it was started in the Bronx, a melting pot. Melting pot. Five, you said there was five different variants to hip hop. That's MCing, beatboxing, graffiti, breakdancing, um, and, and- The fashion, the whole, the and, lifestyle. Right, right, so, so you have all of those things. And to my knowledge, Right, not to, not to my knowledge. I know for a fact when New York, when New, when hip hop started in New York City, there was Puerto Ricans there, there was Dominicans there, there were Asian people there, there were all types of people there. So you know, I mean, I understand. Ramon, I understand that. You know, I'm not like I'm not as old as hip hop, but I'm old enough to be slightly aware of the history, the way the general public takes it. And I know why it's shocking for us to hear about these other, because the debate goes beyond you right now about the origins of hip hop and the influence of other cultures. You see it's bigger on the internet. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Tyreek Nasheed. That's yeah, the homie. I seen you had a, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's the debate is up. So um, when you came with that, I, 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 thought, I thought it was a set up question when I heard it and then I was, anxiously waiting your response. And when you articulate yourself, I appreciated it because I hadn't thought it through to that extent. And I am aware that there are alternative perspectives as to how, how you expressed it didn't start in Africa. And then it was something we grabbed and then now we doing it over here and now it's others. And although we are the originators in the sense as we popularized it, we are the, like he just played, um, something to let you know he was a Bronx native that I wasn't quite familiar with, that you guys were both familiar with. No one would call that anything other than black music. And for the general public, our most, when we reach back, that's all we can find is black people. And you gotta also realize, we don't have to realize, I would like for you to realize as well that we have a history of being creative and not credited. Mm -hmm. And so there's a defense and right. we are trying to hold on to something. And to say that um, I can't, I, I cannot in my mind at this point even try to imagine denying the fact that even with the most original first black hip hop artist that we want to go back to, that he could have had a best friend like you or Chico. It's so right, Chico. understand. It's so understandable. So right, I can understand why you would have some forty-some year old non-black saying, hey, "Yo, I was there." Right, it makes sense. Yeah, and I think there's a balance between. There's truth in both. There, yeah, I do. You know what I'm saying? I There's do. truth in both. And I, look, look listen, man. Like, I 100% I understand. Like, I know the, all the stories, how Elvis Presley, what he did, and all these people was jacking all the styles that the black, the black people was coming up with and then just taking it on their own and just making, you know what I mean? I understand that. But that's not what I'm doing. You know what I mean? That's not me. At you all. feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not. I invited him here. He right. didn't invite, he didn't ask for the opportunity. And this is a natural process of me becoming familiar with his character after me being aware of the controversy with the homie, I dived in. And because of the way you present yourself, I was interested in doing this. Cause I could tell that's not you. Right. I, I've had, 
you speak about the system quite a bit, and then I can recall just based on talking to you. Shout out to Danny Dantana. I can't remember his last name, but I had an Asian partner with my celly, my next door cell mm. from San Diego, and I used to hit. I used to go on the family visits, and I used to be on. And whether he had the money or not, when I smoke, you smoke. And Dantana and his Sally Paul were Asians. They was my dogs. Even when it came time to politic, if he had a problem with one of us, and he, he wasn't no gang affiliate, so he stood on his own on a lot of shit. But he wasn't ever on his own because he was my partner, so I know how. And he grew up on the outs. That's, he couldn't show you a picture with him and five people that look at him like him. It's just he don't have them. All his pictures is with us. It wasn't because he chose to say, hey, it was the circumstances he was um, thrown into, and that's how he was raised. And I know how to look at someone of that stature and understand and accept it. However, the public in a lot of times don't. A lot of people haven't been exposed to that. Right. A lot of people going to look at you, just look at you. If yeah. they don't hear your voice, they don't see your presence, they just look at a picture. But even in the pictures, I kind of see it come through. But the average person can't, bro. Right. I'll they tell can't. you. And, and and I don't I don't take it personal, you know what I'm saying? Because the black people have been through a lot, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Like we can't, I can't, I can't, uh 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 be mad at y'all for wanting to be protected. What is y'all's? Because y'all been have everything taken from y'all. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's just what I what I pick up from you is the sense of blackness is less of trying to get what seems to be is good out of it, and more of the oppressed. Of, I'm with the oppressed, bro. I, that's what I take. I'm it's with like, the oppressed, bro. Like I, you know what I'm saying. That. I listen. When I was, when I was, when I, a lot of people don't know this, but when I was, um, how old was I? I was 13, 12. I was twelve years old. I got knowledge of self. Like I, I was studying NOI lessons. You feel me? I like, heard you say I, that in interviews. Yeah, the the I'm reading the final call when I was 12, 13 years old. 